Hi, and welcome to this edition of Marketing Tips for Authors, the video version. My name is Tony Eldridge, and I'm the author of The Samson Effect, the action-adventure novel that Clive Cussler calls a first-rate thriller brimming with intrigue and adventure. Okay, what we're going to do in this video tip is something pretty cool. We're going to show you how you can take a image of your book cover, put it on your WordPress blog, and then have it when someone clicks on it, it will take them to whatever your shopping cart is for them to purchase the book. Whether that's one of your own shopping carts, whether it's through your publisher, or whether it's through a place like Amazon.com or PayPal. Any place you have set up where people can purchase the book, we're going to make it to where they can click on the book image in WordPress and uh, go right there to, to purchase your book. And what's cool about this is you can actually take what I'm going to show you and put it on any website that allows you to up Upload some HTML code. You can also give it to a friend, the code to a friend, and they can upload your book image onto their site so that when someone clicks it, it goes right to a place where they can buy it. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about a little HTML code today, and if that frightens you, don't let it. I am definitely not a website developer. I don't know HTML code except for the very basics, and I've created something that's very small, and I'm going to show you a very easy way that you can create your own HTML code and use it for this purpose. Now I understand there are a lot of different places you can go. There are a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. I'm going to show you a very easy way that I've used uh, and just understand this is one of many ways. I'm going to introduce you to a site called Flickr.com. That's F-L-I-C-K-R.com. Now if you know about Flickr you know you can upload, you can create an account and upload your images to it. What you're going to want to do is create an account upload images of your book cover. I'm not going to walk you through how to do that. Uh, once you do it, you can pick up here and I'll show you how to, to do the rest of it. You can see that I've already uploaded a couple of images of the Samson Effect book cover. Once you find the image that you want to use, then you want to click on it and it's going to take you to a page that's going to have some important information for you. Now, on this page, if you look up, you're going to see a link that says Share This. You're going to want to click on it. And this is going to give you a number of different ways that you can tell people how to get to your images on Flickr.com. One is you can send them an email, and it will send out an announcement that your picture's here. You can grab the link, and you can double click, copy that, send it out, post it wherever you want to go, and it will send people to your image here. You can blog it. And we're not going to talk a lot about that, but this is another way you can share it. But what I want you to look at is embed it. Now, when you embed something, you take a piece of HTML code and you put it into the, the website. And the website reads that. And in this case, it understands there's a picture cover that I want to book, a book cover that I want to put on this site. And when someone clicks on it, I want to send them somewhere. So that's what this does. So highlight this and copy it. Now unfortunately, what this is going to do is show us our book cover, but when someone clicks it, it's going to bring them back to Flickr. So we need part of that code, not all of it. So I want you to get the code, and I want you to paste it into a notepad. Uh, and, and we're going to kind of break that apart. Now up at the top, you'll see that I've actually given you a template. And this template shows you what HTML code will look like in order for you to create this redirect that we've been talking about. Understand or look that this code is actually divided into two parts. The first part is this right here. And what this does is it tells someone when they click on an image, then here is where we want to send them. I've said yourbookpurchaselink.com. So this is where you want to send them to your Amazon.com link. This is where you want to send them to your PayPal link. Whatever it is, this is what this part of the code does. Is It tells people where to send it. Now this part here, starting with image all the way to the end, says this is where you go to find a copy of the picture that that other link is linked to. So in this case, this is our Flickr page. This is the part that we need. And if you look down here, in that code that we copied, that's this code right here. This is identical. And so we keep this part the way that it is. What we need to do is then replace the part in between the quotation marks with the link that we want to send this to. Now I have already done that. I'm going to go ahead and 
put in a copy of my book on Amazon.com. So you see right here, I have replaced that link with the Amazon.com link for my paperback book. And so if everything works right, this little code that I'm going to copy and hold in on the clipboard, this is going to tell it to pull a Flickr copy of my book cover put it wherever I tell it to put it, in this case wordpress.com, and when someone clicks on it, it's going to send it here. So that's the hope. Now let's go ahead and go to our WordPress blog. This is what my WordPress blog looks like. I've just opened up a, a blog for you to look at. We're actually going to put that book cover right here. Now in order to do that, once you get into your WordPress blog, go into your dashboard, you want to scroll down to where you see the word appearance. Click on it. And you'll have the current theme of your blog. Now under the current theme of your blog you want to click a widget because we're actually going to pull a widget out to accomplish what we're looking for. And what a widget is, it's just a nice little program that you can put on your WordPress blog that brings all this together. Now the widget we're looking for it's a very simple one and it's called a text widget because we're going to paste that HTML code into a text widget. So I said add it. Now I'm not sure why this doesn't work this way in Firefox but while I'm in uh, Internet Explorer I have to hit the save changes first before I can go in and, and edit this. So once we get it to that point click edit and in this box that's where we paste that code that we copied. You can see this is my Amazon.com account that people are going to go to. This is the Flickr account that's going to pull my image. So we have both of the pieces there. We need to put a title up here. I would suggest something very easy like click image to buy book. Whatever you want. Alright, now once we've done that, we want to go down and save our changes. Now that should have placed that widget onto our blog. So let's see if it's there. There it is. Click image to buy book. It's pulled that image from Flickr. And if we click on it, hopefully it's going to take us to our Amazon.com page. And if it does, bingo, people now can actually purchase my book. Now again, you can put any link that you want. It doesn't have to be Amazon.com. But I hope you can see the power of being able to use your blog as a surrogate shopping cart for people to be able to purchase your book. And you can do that by making some very, very simple HTML codes available on your website. Give that code out to other people. Ask other people to post that code up on their website. And you can have places all over with your book cover linking to whatever shopping cart that you want it to go to. This is really an easy, powerful tip that I hope you've really enjoyed. And I hope you can see how you can use this in your marketing plan to expand your reach with your readership and give them uh, easier access to purchasing your book. My name is Tony Eldridge. I'm the author of The Samson Effect. I am so glad that you've spent this time with me going over this video tip. I look forward to talking to you soon.